In this video, let us learn how to construct a triangle similar to a given triangle. So here we've got a question. It says, draw a triangle ABC with side BC equals 7 centimeters, uh, angle B equals 45 degrees, angle A equals 105 degrees. Then construct a triangle whose sides are 4 by 3 times the corresponding sides of triangle ABC. The important thing to note here is, we need to draw a similar triangle, which is, or whose sides are 4 by 3 times the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. That means, we need to draw a similar triangle greater than the triangle that we are going to draw. So that's one important point to notice or take note. So now, first of all, let us draw the triangle they've told the triangle ABC with side BC equals 7 centimeter, angle B equals 45 degrees, angle A equals 105 degrees. So the first step here is draw BC equal to 7 centimeters. We've got only one side, the data is BC equals 7 centimeters. And then we have angle B as 45 degrees. So we can use the protractor and draw the angle 45 degrees. So 45 is exactly here. So now join the point B to that point which we marked as 45 degrees on the So somewhere here is going to be A. Angle A is given as 105, but we do not have angle C. So therefore, we've got angle B as 45 degrees. So we have angle B as 45 and angle A is 105 degrees. So let's find angle C. Angle C will be equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees plus 45 degrees, which is 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. That comes around to 30 degrees. So angle C equals 30 degrees. So let's use the protractor. Keep the protractor at point C as accurately as possible and 30 degree comes here. So we just have to join this and this is the point A. So we've drawn the triangle ABC. Now we need to draw a similar triangle, a triangle that is similar to ABC but uh, whose sides are 4 by 3 times of the sides of the corresponding sides of this triangle. So now the next step is to construct an acute angle CBZ at B on opposite side of vertex A of triangle ABC. So just construct an acute angle. You don't have to measure just a random stuff. So keep it here and make sure it's accurate, less than 90 degrees. So I'm drawing it like this. So I've got Z here, CBZ. This is an acute angle. And the next step is we need to mark off four points on BZ because the fraction is 4 by 3 here. The triangle that we are going to construct is going to be 4 by 3 times the triangle that we've constructed here. So it's greater. So also take the greater number of these two, which is 4. And now take the compass of this measurement of any measurement that you want anything convenient to you. I'm taking this one. Keep it on B and start cutting arcs on BZ. So here it is. And another one. And another one that makes it three. We need four. So last one. So here it is. So what this four by three means is if this triangle is three, if these sides are three, then these sides of the of the triangle that we are going to construct should be 4. So first of all, let us name these as B1, B2, B3 and B4 and let us join B3 and C because the original triangle is 3 and the new triangle is going to be 4. So that's why. So join C and B3 and extend the line. Again, that is for the measurement of the angle using a protractor. Now also, we need to construct B4, a line from B4 to this line. 
an extension of BC. So let us draw the extension of BC. Let me extend this line BC. So yeah, here it is. So now I need to draw B4, say let's name this C dash, B4 C dash such a way that it is parallel to B3 C. So if you want to make sure that B4 C dash is parallel to B3 C, then B4 C should make the same angle as B3 C with BZ or BC. So since we don't know this point already, we can find the angle here. So first we'll have to measure the angle uh, CB3B and then repeat the same angle here. So let's find that angle here. Keep the protractor on B3 and now measure the angle. Measure the angle that this line makes with this line. So it's going to be say 0 to 90 is here. 100 is here, it is exactly making an angle of between 102 and 103. So that's the same angle we need here. Between 102 and 103. So here it is. Between 102 and 103 is here. Join these points. So let's name this C dash. Now we've got B4 C dash. Now the next step is draw a line through C dash parallel to CA intersecting the extended line segment AB at say A dash, name it A dash. So now uh, since we need C dash A dash parallel to CA, we again have to measure this angle that the AC makes with BC. So keep it at C and measure the angle that AC makes with BC. It makes an exactly, of course, 30 degrees because we, we knew it, right? So this is 30 degrees. This is 30, so just measure 30 from C dash as well. So place the protractor exactly on C dash. Make sure you're accurate in this. Any slipping is going to make the entire working wrong so it's 30 degrees mark 30 degrees here and now join c dash to that point and extend it to meet a dash on the line a b here it is and name this a dash so now triangle a dash b c dash is the triangle that we needed so the triangle a dash b c dash is the triangle whose sides are 4 by 3 times the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. So let's just check that once. So let's start off with say 7 centimeters. BC is 7 centimeters. Exactly 7. So 4 by 3 times 7 should be what? So let's find it out here. So let's say use this space for working out. So 4 by 3 times 7 is going to be 28 by 3. This is approximately going to be 9.33 3 goes 9 times in 28 and there's one remainder which is 0.33333 so let's just measure bc now yeah exactly it is 9.3333 so hence the triangle b a dash c dash or a dash b c dash is the triangle that we needed so the triangle a dash b c dash has got sides whose measurements are 4 by 3 times the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. So this is how we construct a triangle similar to any given triangle. In one of the previous videos, we constructed a similar triangle which was smaller than the original triangle. In this case, we've constructed a triangle which is greater than the original triangle.